Lockley Secure, Secure Plus, Latch Edition Installation Guide, PGD628, PGD628F. This procedure will assist you with installing the lock set step by step. Installation generally takes less than 30 minutes. If you have any questions please visit lockley.com support or call 669-500-8835 for help. Let's take a look at everything in the box. To complete this installation, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, an optional flat head screwdriver, a ruler, a pair of needle nose pliers, and an optional drill with a 1 half inch drill bit. Let's start now. Preparation. Remove any existing lock set from the door. Prep the door if necessary. Measure and confirm your door thickness is between 1 and 3 eighths of an inch to 2 inches. The crossbore hole must be 2 and 1 eighth of an inch diameter. The edge bore hole must be 1 inch diameter. The back set should be 2 and 3 eighths of an inch or 2 and 3 quarters of an inch. Install the lock set. Measure the back set and select the correct lock bolt. For 2 and 3 eighths of an inch back set, install back set F1. For 2 and 2 quarters of an inch back set, install back set F2. Before installation, please note that the curved surface of the latch bolt must face in the direction that the door closes. For in swing doors. For out swing doors. Attach the latch bolt into the door using two screws. G. Change handle for right or left swing doors. While facing the door from the outside, if the door hinges are on the right side of the door, you have a right swing door. If the hinges are on the left side of the door, you have a left swing door. The lock ships default for right swing doors. If you have a right swing door, you can skip this part. For left swing doors, change the direction of the exterior handle, open the keyhole cover, insert the included key and turn the cylinder until the dots on the faceplate are aligned. Use the clamping tool, R, simultaneously press the, two, release buttons on either side of the handle. Remove the handle, rotate the handle 180 degree to the other side of the lock. To reinstall the handle, press the release buttons by hand and insert the handle back onto the lock. Confirm that the buttons are flush with the handle. Check to see if the handle works smoothly by rotating it in both directions and making sure it returns to the idle position. Remove the key and close the keyhole cover. To change the orientation of the interior handle, unfasten the release screw on the inside of the interior assembly, N. Change the orientation of the handle as needed. Fasten the release screw to secure the handle at the desired position. Aligning the release screw hole with either of the blue dots. Prepare lock for installation. The upper portion of the lock set can be secured with double-sided adhesive tape and optional fasteners. If you wish to have added stability, a drill is required if there are no holes prepared for lock installation. Please refer to the provided template for the drilling dimensions. After the hole is drilled, install the slotted barrel extension. U to the exterior assembly, B, and securely tighten with a flathead screwdriver. If you don't want to drill a hole, we have provided double-sided adhesive tape for you to help stabilize the lock during installation. Peel the paper cover off of the exterior adhesive, T. Insert the spindle, C, with the holes aligning as shown. Secure the spindle with the locking pin, D. Carefully bend the end of the locking pin with the needle nose pliers. Install the lock, exterior. Pass the spindle through the center of the lock set, and the round rods through the sides in their respective holes. Guide the cable through the crossbore hole, under the latch bolt. Insert, two, positioning rods, V, into the holes to the left and right of the spindle. Align the lock straight and press hard, if you use the adhesive tape, to secure the top of the lock. Install the lock, interior. If using adhesives to secure the upper part of the lock, remove the cover off of the adhesive tape on the mounting plate. Place the mounting plate on the door. Ensure that the cable is guided through the rectangular hole near bottom of the mounting plate. Make sure that the spindle and the positioning rods are passing through their respective openings. Align the mounting plate straight. 
Secure the hole above the spindle with screw, O. Once the screw has been inserted correctly, make five turns clockwise by hand. Tighten the screw. Remove the position rods, V, and replace them with, two, screws, O. Once the screws have been inserted correctly, make five turns clockwise by hand. Tighten the screws. If using fasteners to secure the upper part of the lock, select the appropriate optional screw, M1 or M2, depending on your door thickness. Finish securing the mounting plate to the door. Plug in the cable from the exterior assembly to the circuit board on the interior assembly, N. Make sure that the plug is oriented correctly, matching the red side of the plug to the red side of the socket on the circuit board. Guide some of the excess length of the cable towards the exterior assembly. Position the remaining length of the cable away from the spindle area. Position the interior assembly, ensuring that the spindle fits into the square hole and the interior assembly sits securely on the mounting plate. Secure the interior assembly to the mounting plate using 3 screws P. Place 4 double A batteries into the battery box. Check if the lock has started operating. Close the battery box with the battery cover, Q. Secure it by fastening the battery cover screw at the top. Install the door strike. Install the dust box, I, and the strike plate, H, to the door jam using, 2, screws, G. Congratulations, this concludes the installation of the Lockley Secure Plus Latch Lock Set. To complete its setup, download the Lockley app from the App Store or Google Play. Register and or log in to your account and follow on screen instructions for adding a new lock.